Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic Index Rule Maths video. In this video we're looking at integrating cot x. So this is the integral of cot x. So the integral of cot x is also uh, one that we can do by using the reverse chain rule. So we can rewrite cot x as its definition. It's cot is by definition 1 divided by tan. Uh, which is 1 divided by sine over cos, meaning that cot x is cos x divided by sine x. Just as tan x is sine x over cos x, cot x is cos divided by sine. So we have now got a reverse chain rule situation because we have got a fraction where we've got some denominator and the numerator is a multiple of the derivative of the denominator. So cos is the derivative of sine, which means just like, and I've got a video on the reverse chain rule, I will leave in the description below. But what we're going to do is we're going to consider that the integral is some multiple of the natural log of the modulus of sine x. Okay. And what we can do is differentiate this to see if we need to put a constant in front. Um, and of course it would be a plus C, but we'll do that at the end. So when we differentiate the natural log of sine x, our derivative here is going to be, well, the derivative of sine is cos, so it's going to be cos x over sine x. Huh, but that actually is cot x, which is exactly what we want this time. So unlike the integral of tan, we, when we would need to put a minus in front, uh, we actually don't need to put a minus in front this time. Therefore, the answer to the integral of cot x is simply the natural log of sine x. So the integral of cot x with respect to x is the natural log of sine x. And of course we can do a plus c as well for good luck. So the integral of cot x dx is the natural log of sine x and that's by the reverse chain rule. Thank you guys so much for watching, highly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.